Hey everyone, Jan here, and I am going to be discussing my second discussion, Toonami. And I only wanted to really discuss this because I watched this other guy's video a couple of days back, him discussing about Toonami's ratings lowering. And as a loyal Toonami fan, this was kind of devastating to hear. Um, it's, I mean, let's get real. Toonami's been around for a while. I know it kind of it got taken out um, during 2008, um, but br got brought back in 2012. But ever since then, it is true that the that the um, that the ratings and the and the views for the Toonami just have been lower and lower and lower each month. And pretty much, there's a lot of reasons why. The number one reason has got to be um streaming now i know st it's because streaming right now is the new thing and i get that streaming has been able to let anyone watch anything that they want whenever they want uh, in any quality that they want and it seems like a miracle for t um for people who want to catch up with anything but to tell you the truth it also hurts in the long run um, services and shows like like Adult Swim's Toonami and the thing is that the number one reason that I'm talking about streaming has to be Crunchyroll now I know that there are all of those other websites like um, this, you know like the non sponsored services sites that stream but Crunchyroll is the number one reason you it's a paid service that lets you stream the newest episodes of any um of any show, One Piece, Fairy Tale, you know, all those shows all right there, sub yeah, sub basically. Um and I know that basically uh Toonami is like a dubbed thing, so that could be another reason. Dubbed has always been like judged and I don't wanna get flamed for this. I like dub at times, and I like sub at times. I like both, okay? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down. But I'm not saying that just because Toonami um, shows dubbed content, that doesn't really mean that's the reason that it's not being watched as much. It's basically mostly the streaming part because Crunchyroll is now stealing all the... And I'm not saying... I'm not, I'm not trying to throw shade or anything at Crunchyroll. I'm just saying that Crunchyroll's streaming services basically are stealing away the Toonami audience slowly and not just that also the other sites like let me think um like Kiss Anime or all those different places I don't really want to mention anymore but all those different places that also put up episodes of all these types of anime you can just watch whenever you want when you want and it really is hurting Toonami. Now I know that there's always going to be to not, uh, faithful Toonami watchers like me, and let me know if you are, because we really do need to uh, help each other through this time. And at some point, it's inevitable. But if things keep going as they are, Toonami's ratings are just going down and down. Then eventually, it's gonna go away again, and it might not come back this time. As hard as that is to see, to hear. And I know some of you also think that. But basically, I've thought up of some ways that maybe this could be prevented. Um, let's see. One could be um, the time that Toonami is actually shown. If you have been on Toonami's um, watch for as long as I have, you'd know that their scheduling used to be much different. They used to be on for longer periods of time. Right now, it's like from 12 to 4, I think, 4.30. When it used to be from like 12 to 6, and they used to actually extend it um, before 12, like 10 or maybe even 8. Um, fact check me on that, by the way. Um, but it used to be much longer. And it, it used to, I don't know if it used to be shown on multiple days, but if it hasn't, it has to. Now let's just say that, no, 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 let's just, let's just not do that. Um, if you people are thinking that. Because there, there could be different reasons why they only show it on Saturdays. Well, you know, one of the points that that guy in his other video said was 
I mean, come on, Adult Swim basically just shows mostly Seth MacFarlane content, Family Guy, American Dad, you know, those those shows. But I'm not saying that's bad, but Adult Swim has this all this time throughout the whole week to stream their numerous shows, just like Cartoon Network also streams their five, only their five shows, even though they have a lot of time to show all this stuff. Now, Toonami could be giving a little more mercy when it comes to showtime. Um, maybe more than just Saturday, maybe extend the time more than from 12 to 4 in the morning. And plus, the second reason why people aren't also tuning into as much is because of that late time. No, um, because people aren't really going to be up through that time because they have, they have things to do the next day. And maybe not. Maybe you don't have anything to do the next day. Then there goes um, the view for Toonami there. Well, maybe it needs to, maybe it does need to be pushed back to an earlier, um, to an earlier night time, like from 8 to 12, maybe, even though that is just the same four-hour block, maybe extend it. Okay. Also, uh, that's enough for that, yeah. So, what I'm basically trying to say is the time, the time also needs to change, the broadcasting time, and maybe the days that it's on. But also another solution I also want to touch on is uh, what shows they give. Because I know basically at the very beginning they push of the tsunami, they show the things that they want to be seen, like Dragon Ball Super being shown, and um, you know One Piece, Naruto. They just shove all those at the very beginning, and then at the very end they just show... I think the last thing they do show... Are, I don't know why, but I think uh, reruns of the first four seasons of Samurai Jack, but um, just the shows that basically um, no one really needs to watch, but um, they still do, like Cowboy Beep Bob, that kind of hurts me because it's my favorite, but um, all those for the Eureka 7 and all those, basically you need to bring in more shows. If you want to, if Toonami's my, if they do extend the time that it broadcasts, that means that they're going to bring in more shows, more anticipated shows, more um, live sub. Now, they need to bring in, like, episodes that are just now about to be aired sub. Like, um, well, I can't really think of anything in the moment. I'm not really keeping up with anything, but you know what I'm trying to say basically trying to bring in more shows that are more relevant to at this time that's gonna bring in more people to watch cuz you know they're gonna be like oh great Toonami's showing this one show um that it just it just feels good to watch it on TV instead of going on Crunchyroll to watch it that's what I'm saying one other point now if you guys do remember them showing their exclusive called um FLCL or Fully Cooly which I fully enjoyed um and I heard that they're bringing it back. There needs to be more of that. More exclusivity. If I said that right, sorry. Um, more more exclusive content that Toonami can bring. And then Toonami can get the ratings that they've wished for. The boom, the anime boom that they've been wanting. If they get more exclusivity. Um, well, yeah. Um, those are basically my thoughts on this tsunami discussion uh you can go ahead and keep up the discussion below in the comments i'd like to see what you guys think of tsunami um their rating slowing time by time what do you guys think of solutions what do you think they're doing wrong um if you like this video you know what to do subscribe i really appreciate it and also follow me on twitter down below in the link um to follow up on the post that i do uh thanks for watching my nonsense and see you guys next time bye